first met my friend Gusto 10 years ago, he was a popular Islamic leader in Indonesia. Now he's the president, and I'm staying with him at the palace. Gusto's real name is Abdurrahman Wahid, but everyone calls him Gusto. <laughs> You know that uh, there are four, four presidents. The first one is uh, crazy about women. The second one is crazy about fortune. Uh, the third one is truly crazy. The fourth one, myself, is driving people crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you know, uh, to this? Yeah. It's people's concern, eh? Yeah. That's why they get those things. Yeah. Gusto was on his way to visit the notorious Special Forces unit, Kapasas. Gusto was the first democratically elected president Indonesia's ever had. For 30 years, the country was ruled by General Sahato and the army. He's been president for only a few months, and the army is still very powerful and reluctant to hand over the reins of power. Kapasa's special forces played a major role in maintaining Sahato's dictatorship. Gusto has suffered two strokes and is virtually blind. Now he faces the biggest challenge of his life, the removal of the army from their long domination of Indonesian society. The Kapasa Special Forces, like the rest of Indonesia's military, was under the leadership of former President Sahato's top general, General Waranto. Waranto led the army during the sacking of East Timor after it had voted for its independence from Indonesia. To avoid a confrontation with the army, Gusto has appointed General Waranto to his cabinet as Minister for Political and Security Affairs. Under the command of General Waranto, the army moved more than 100,000 East Timorese across the border into West Timor, where many still live in refugee camps. Shanana Gusmao has come to see Gusto 
to talk about the fate of these refugees. He was the commander of the East Timorese guerrilla forces. He was captured by the Indonesian army and kept in a Jakarta jail for several years. Now he's the leader of the soon-to-be independent nation of East Timor. We are still in a good faith, thinking about the future, about the present and about the future. Yes. Um, you know what they say? That we have now two goes, and you put them small. Kita masalah penyusi pertama kita mau masalah ini sudah diselesaikan. Kedua juga menurunkan menurunkan bebang untuk Indonesia. Oh iya, mula dia. Kita dengar bahawa di mana atau mantan kita nggak tahu juga ada milisi kalau mereka menyasem sedikit itu mereka punya tindakan yang lain di mana nggak ada mereka suruh mereka semua carinya mau pulang bisa mereka takut pak mereka takut itu tadi yang dari orang-orang liar itu kan dan mereka bisa membunuh kalau saya dari awal sudah berpendirian orang itu bebas mau apa itu betul-betul bebas lah ya mau ke tinggal di Timur Timur silahkan ya dan nanti kita bantu lah bagaimana caranya supaya bisa tinggal di Timur Timur lalu yang apa yang memang dia tidak merasa at home, dia tidak ada masalah. Tapi jangan pernah dipaksa orang. Saya ingin menghormati, menghormati, dan menghormati. Terima kasih. Gustor menghormati beberapa eyebrow dengan pergi ke bandara untuk melihat Janana Roth. Setelah itu, kehilangan di East Timor masih sangat berbicara oleh banyak Indonesia, terutama militer. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Some parliamentarians are not quite happy that I am going to see him off. They don't decide policies. We cannot please everybody. We have to, you know, to act according to the need. Yeah? The need now is uh, to find some, let's say, uh, Common platform between the Australians, the East Timorese, and the Indonesians.
under stress. Most of the time you'd never know Gusta was facing endless national catastrophes and conflicts. Maybe this is because of his interest in Sufi, the mystical side of Islam. He says this self-control means that his enemies never know what he's thinking. If Gusto could see, he might be surprised by the number of security men who follow his every move. They follow my every move too. I think they think I'm a spy. <laughs> Coming to live at the palace was hard at first for his wife Nuria and their family. Two of his four daughters live here. Yeni and the youngest Ina, who is still at school. From inside the palace, it's hard to believe that the country is in turmoil. Even the student demonstrations going on outside the palace gates can hardly be heard. With the return to civilian rule, independence movements are breaking out in many parts of Indonesia. Thousands of people have been killed in Aceh, Papua and the Malaccas. Gusto suspects that Sahato and his former generals are working behind the scenes to destabilize his government. They are worried about losing the business empires they built up during Sahato's dictatorship. Everybody knows that I try to dismantle the power of the military in politics. But that doesn't mean that I have to demean the armed forces, that I have to demean the army. We have to differentiate between, you know, the institution and individuals. Have you uh, worked out any kind of timetable about um, reducing, oh, yes. reducing the dual function oh, yes. of the army? It will have to be end in, uh, after five years, six years from what, when I said that. From now, it's about five years. Gusto has to tread warily with the army. To remain president, he must preserve their dignity. 
but the United Nations is pushing for Waranto and other senior officers to be put on trial for their role in the atrocities committed in East Timor. To avoid this humiliation, the Indonesian government has set up its own commission of inquiry. I've never quite got used to Gusto's early morning routine up at 4.30 to pray and then several laps around the palace. Do you get a strong sense of what people are like? I mean, at the moment, you can't see the people you're dealing with, whether you can trust them, what kind of people they are. Yeah, as long as you trust yourself, then you see, you are free to believe in somebody else. Because uh, the first thing is that you trust in yourself. If you trust yourself, then you know that uh, other people will not easily try to trap you. But uh, yeah, we have to deal with those kind of people. Yeah? Not from the beginning, we. We are suspicious, you know. Uh, that's why, for me, you see, uh, being a president means that he is the father of all the people, all the citizens. Yeah? So if you mistrust your children, it's not good. <laughs> a special tea, bitter god tea from Vietnam. Ah, process. What? I'm going to ask him to boil it now. Yeah? You bring this now. Okay. Bitter god tea, okay. yeah? I'll try. Like I said, we get some plenty of that. Uh, what's for? Why well, it stabilizes you, they say. Uh, bitter god stabilizes you. Especially for sugar too, they say. Uh. <coughs> we have to differentiate the milk. I love other. <coughs> okay. If you attempt to understand Gus, you'll never understand him. You can't really, you really can't. And people say Gus comes, the topic goes round it. It's because I understand that he's assessing your accessibility, your ability to assess the topic. So how do you see this next 16 days, Gus? What, what do you plan to achieve? the 16 days when you travel like that? Well, the first thing is that, uh, you know, I would like to to attract, uh, you see, uh, those leaders to uh, uh, push for investment in the world. Second thing is that uh, uh, by going away, I will stress the territorial integrity of Indonesia. People are amazed. The country is in turmoil. The loyalty of the army is still in doubt. And Gusto has decided to go away on an overseas trip. He wants to show the world that there's a new government in power and that the old corrupt regime is gone. <laughs> What people don't understand is that Gusto has a deep belief 
that he is spiritually protected and that he will survive no matter what. Despite the fact that Gusto is leaving internal security in the hands of his police chief and Vice President Megawati Sakano Putri, all eyes are on General Waranto. There are rumours of a revolt. He and other senior officers are being investigated for human rights violations in East Timor. The prospect of putting army officers on trial is a daring initiative to say the least. Whether or not General Waranto will remain loyal to Gustor's government will be a key factor in determining the future of Indonesia. Saleh Kamil is the head of the Al Barqa group, the biggest group in Saudi Arabia, and he is also the chairman of the Association of Islamic Banks. So because of this, and we 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 we, we had a long talk about how to to uh, uh, begin again in recent economy. While in Saudi Arabia, Gusto went on a pilgrimage to Mecca, the spiritual center of Islam. situation back in Indonesia is now extremely volatile. The Commission of Inquiry is about to announce its findings. General Waranto's future remains in the balance. There are reports of generals holding secret meetings in Jakarta. We just read in the newswire about the rumors of a coup in Jakarta. What about this? Oh no, that is no coup. I just found uh, Mrs. Megawati. There is no, no, no such thing like that. Okay. 
did the Americans get wind of a coup plot? Why he played down Holbrook's statement saying, I don't think there would be a coup. But as a government investigation into military abuses in East Timor closes in on former armed forces commander Miranto, the general seems less worried about reform than survival. He and his allies reportedly are terrified that their bloodied reputations will be further smeared. One Miranto ally warned darkly that soldiers are going to be upset if the commission continues to persecute the army. Miranto's close aide, Maya Jansudraja, said the military did not recognize Wahid as its commander and that he had no right to interfere in military yeah. affairs. Yeah. But Jakarta's coup worries may not be over yet. Washington Post. Elizabeth Weymouth is the daughter of Catherine Graham, publisher of the Washington Post, which broke the Watergate story. How do you do, Mr. Oh, President? It's such an honor to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for taking the time. You know, uh, I read... Uh, all the president's men. Woodward and Bernstein. Oh, Woodward and Bernstein. So uh, I was, uh, you know, uh, very, uh, uh, you know, intrigued by many points that both raised, but, uh, you know, uh, without answer, but I forgot what now, so long time ago. It was a big decision for my mother, uh, you know, whether to go ahead and print or not, you know, oh, because yeah. she had to decide, and the president was threatening yeah, her. Yeah. But anyway, turning to the subject of your country, since I know you're very busy, yeah, yeah. do you plan to scale back the influence of the military and raise the profile of your parliament while, during your presidency, Mr. President? Oh, yes, yes. You know that uh, 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 now, uh, by this time, you see, uh, two things happened in, in the country. First one is the uh, the uh, results of the of the uh, 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 inquiry committee national on the commission. yeah national commission on human rights as uh, uh, on the general's uh, role in the uh, East Timor in East Timor uh, uh, right after the uh, plebiscite or before that. See. Uh, is announced now. Uh, the uh, committee uh, described the man as Furanto, put the name there. So I said, okay, continue, please continue. So then uh, when I go back to the country, then I will ask him to resign because of this. That one thing. Wait, wait, you said that when you go back to the country, they'll ask General Morato well, to yes, resign? Yes. Because uh, of the findings of the Commission of Inquiry? Yeah. And will he will he do it? I think so. I mean that uh, all the military now uh, is he uh, 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 understand that uh, you see we 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 mean serious things when we said that uh, you see indif individuals should face trial. Wow. Second thing also is that uh, by this time, it's already issued now, uh, today also, that uh, you see that uh, former President Suharto is called before the, 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 the court. Wow. So it's a hectic day there. <laughs> anyway, it has not been announced, but it is going, it is underway to the announcement. It's so, going to be announced? Yeah, very soon, but uh, you know, President give you inside information. It's very nice of the president. Yeah. <laughs> Every journalist dream. <laughs> oh. Um, I see. So you really have your hands full. But would something like um, firing General Laranto, would, could that possibly spark off uh, military no, no, no. actions? No, I don't think so. I mean, uh, you know, those uh, soldiers understand that uh, it is easy for them to grab power, but uh, after that it's difficult yeah, to 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 uh, uh, overcome the protest, the demonstrations, and uh, the uh, counterplots from other generals as well. So you know that uh, I don't think there will be uh, that kind of uh, 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 steps taken by the by uh, the so-called critical elements of the armed forces. 
I can't begin to thank you enough for allowing thank me to come and talk thank to you. you. Thank I you. hope you'll allow me to come and see you in your thank country, you. perhaps. You. I would strongly suggest with regard to the inside information, not to quote the president, but you may just say reliable sources close to the president. Is that right? Yeah. My yeah. president said it. Only uh, for that thing. But only the inside information about Duranto and Suharto. I, but I can't, I can't say it? But about Suharto. <laughs> On the no, but Durantor, you can say oh, anything. So no, no, but Suharto is not yet announced. Yes. But about Durantor, it's okay. Oh, yeah, Durantor. Okay. Will you sack General Lorenzo, Mr. President? Will you sack him? Oh, yes, of course. I will ask him uh, to, 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 to use a polite word. Uh, ask him to resign. And are you confident that the military will back this? Will the military back this? Do you think you will have the military backing, Mr. President? No, no. Well, the military will uh, listen to us. No. Did you say the military will listen to you, Mr. President? Yes. yes. Thank you, Mr. President. I appreciate it. See, for us, it's a bit of a dilemma. I would like your advice. You know, generally, policy of the United States is very strong that we oppose armed opposition movements and we support the territorial integrity of country. And so we generally don't meet with leaders of armed opposition groups. The, major exception to that is when the other country where the armed opposition group operates wants us to the crucial time will be uh, uh, today and tomorrow if nothing happens then mm -hmm. the and general Burato cannot do anything right but if he happens to do that so, uh, you see all the the uh, area military commanders will be against him right that's what their loyalty yeah i think that it's unfortunate I heard your interview that the media is spending so much time talking about coup attempts which is not the real threat yeah right I think that you have succeeded in getting the loyalty of the key commanders and that that's not an issue yeah. Holbrook made the comment because he was asked yeah. <laughs> no it's quite interesting he's made attention a bit to talk about the commission of inquiry not to talk no, about no, a coup. No. I, I, I made that comment because uh, you know uh, I'm afraid that uh, General uh, Granto uh, would uh, organize something. Right. Yeah. So then, when I'm sure that uh, he is not, uh, you know, he is, uh, he doesn't do that thing. It's okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I wish you luck here. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you very much, Stanley, for coming here. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. General Ratchett said that he will not resign. Um, how will you uh, enforce that? Uh, your request to him? Well, if uh, he doesn't resign when I go back to the country. Then I'll ask him to resign. After that, I will remove him from 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 office. With the Associated Press, I asked you this question yesterday evening, uh, Mr. President. So, what you plan to do about your stubborn general? Who? Oh? Your stubborn general, Mr. Viranto. <laughs> yesterday, <clears throat> there was the rumor that a group of uh, Muslim militants will uh, make the demonstrations uh, against the government, and we believe that uh, you see there were some quote-unquote, dirty hands behind that. I don't know whether that belongs to the generals or not, but anyway, we uh, gave the uh, orders to the uh, National Police Chief as well as uh, the uh, uh, Commander of the Armed Forces and the Attorney General to take care of the situation, and they took care in the, they think, the best way. stage of his life, Gusto did a stint as a sports writer for a Jakarta newspaper. It came in handy at the Vatican.
And uh, don't forget the best uh, goalkeeper in the world, Dinosaur. Ah, ah, Dinosaur. Oh, oh, la, he was la, a la, captain later. No, he's, no, no, he's a coach. No, no, he's a trainer of our yeah, yeah. national team. Ah, trainer. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very goalkeeper. Very yes, famous. yes. Yeah. Uh, but uh, do you know, Mr. President, that now uh, our team in Italy are international one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you have Julio, to take for, Julio Cesar from Brasilia. Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, from Ronaldo. 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 Ah. And now you have, uh, you know, the, the, the very excellent uh, Brazilian the goalkeeper, Tifa. I think in your team here, in, in, in one of your teams. You were quoted by a Portuguese newspaper as saying that if General Wiranto were convicted of the human rights abuses of which he is accused, he would be pardoned. Is this accurate? And if so, do you not think that people in high government positions should be held accountable for this sort of violation? Oh, yes. I, of course, uh, after deciding that, I will pardon him. Because, uh, you know, I have my respect to him. Uh, 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 for the past uh, several years, we have been in good terms, and I know that basically, uh, whatever he has done in the past, yeah, maybe he's a uh, and so forth, but uh, actually he uh, was uh, encouraging uh, 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 the uh, uh, democratization process within the government process. I know this. Thank you, God. Letters reveal how Indonesian generals plan repression. Pardon setelah dia hmm. dinyatakan hmm. guilty. Hmm. Ya, uh, bukan ya, sebelum tidak. Nah, ya. Ya, jelas. Jadi pardon hanya untuk Wiranto setelah dinyatakan dia Bagi guilty. Dia kepala staf, ya. apa dia panglima tadinya. Ya. Baik. Oke, okay. terima kasih. Oh ya, sudah kan Bung Haris sudah di slide itu selesai sudah Bung Haris. Ini independen sama, ya kira-kira begitu. Terus dia bilang sini, the documents implicate officer at every level of the military hierarchy. It is the miss, the missing link. One Western diplomat said it connects the military to the use of repression and coercion, and it shows a clear chain of command from close to the very top. They will add to pressure for war crimes pros prosecutions against those implicated in the violence. Indonesia's most powerful general Wiranto continued. To divide calls yesterday for his resignation by country's president, Truman White, increasing fears of split between the army and civilian establishment. From the field, nice Thank to you meet you. you. Thank you for Good spending sense. time for us. Do you still trust uh, General Wiranto? You oh, asked yes. him to resign. Yes, I asked him to resign, but I trust him because, you know, uh, uh, I asked him to resign just to avoid the uh, inter international tribunal, you know. It's not nice to have uh, an Indonesian uh, ex-commander uh, of the armed forces to become uh, to those uh, uh, international tribunals. So you want to try him yourself? Yes, and then, uh, because uh, the, the law said that, but I myself, I trust him. I, I, I respect him. But he refuses to resign. Now, does that mean that you're a weak president if you can't fire your ministers properly? Well, uh, uh, I will go to him and I will explain to him that it's my prerogative to appoint ministers. So that uh, 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 this is very important. You know, there are kind of uh, misunderstanding on this part. But uh, anyway, uh, for me, I respect him.
The more joke I tell, that means I have uh, psychological pressure. But in order to make a good psychological escape, you have to have a real joke, not to calculate it. So you have to show the natural joke, natural way of telling jokes. That means that you have to enjoy the jokes. Tapi <laughs> kalau Pak Arto teriak-teriak sekitar umur udah tahu belum? Belum belum. Nah, jadi Pak Arto itu ngintip Pak Arto lagi lari keliling sumur yang nggak ada temboknya itu. Empat, empat, empat. Kan tertarik itu Pak ngapain tuh orang empat, empat? Jadi berdiri sebelah sana, Pak Arto nya kan berhenti bernapas. Pak Tri buru-buru ke pinggir apa? Ke pinggir sumur dia ngelengok ke dalam ada apa? Atau Pak Arto udah sampai di belakangnya didorong. Jebur, lima, lima, empat, empat udah mati. Jadi yang kelima itu di. How do you feel about the uh, Attorney General's efforts on the, the Suharto case? Do you do you feel that he's done his best or do you think it's going too slowly? I just now uh, uh, sent uh, a medical team to examine him mm-hmm. and then if uh, it's uh, you know found certainly that he's not fit for you know court uh, uh, examinations mm-hmm. then he will be placed under house arrest. Mm-hmm. That would be quite a far-reaching step, wouldn't it? I mean, to pre- place a former president under house arrest? Yes, but uh, we have to do that. Mm-hmm. Are you afraid that he might flee the country or that he may? No, it's just a, a gesture to show the, the public at last that nobody is above the law. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wiranto ke Presiden lagi telah meneleponnya dan mengatakan, Gus Dur kok percaya pada omongan orang bahwa saya akan bikin kudeta. Saya tidak pernah mikir seperti itu. Karena itu saya percaya pada Pak Wiranto, tegas Gus Dur. Memang, kata Presiden, ada anggota TNI yang tidak senang dan ingin memberontak, tetapi mereka tidak berani. Saya pikir seperti manusia, tentara itu ada yang baik dan ada yang buruk. Ada yang murni dan ada yang maling, kata Gus Dur. Which bit? Under house arrest or not? Mm. Don't put it in <laughs> which paper? I shouldn't put that in the paper. Yeah. <laughs> the interview earlier was on the record, right? Oh yeah, it's okay. But I never said about Suarto. I mean about the the Attorney General's uh, conclusion. That he should be under house arrest. Yeah. Oh dear, I've sent the story. I need to cancel that. Yeah. Just as we were leaving, mm-hmm. your dad said some joke you were doing on that bit about some other in the paper. And before I could clear it up, he had to go off to the bathroom. Uh-huh. So I called Hong Kong and asked him to hold the story, but uh, I'm not quite sure where I stand on it. Well, if you say that, then it means that this probably doesn't want to learn that. Right. But there are other things he told me, you know, for example, that three ministers are under suspicion of corruption or that Mazuki will announce an investigation. I also included that in the story. Where is he now? He's just in the bathroom. Oh, awesome. I know he wants to rest. I don't want to, you know, kind of cancel him on. Just cancel it, that mm-hmm. Jeremy, mm-hmm. for the time being. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll cancel it. If you don't mind, when he, when he wakes up, explain to him what I've done. And uh, sort of explaining that from professional terms, oh, I could be fired for that because I you know, know, they would know. regard it as a. Oh, why don't, why don't, let's compromise, let's make compromise. That's just, why don't you just lead with the ministers mm. instead of Sahata? It's probably. Just drop the Sahata. Yeah. Mm. And I assumed that he was doing one of his usual sort of throwing something out there and just waiting to see what the reaction was. So harder, it's more specific. Yeah. It's a prediction of absolute truth. I think just leave with the video first if I were you. So you still have, you still have your news, yes, and, but he asked you not to use this sort of bit, so it's a compromise. 
both of us. You don't get fired and right. we don't get um, people. We don't get butchered by places on the side. Yeah, yeah. The United Nations continues to put pressure on Indonesia for not taking any real steps to charge or punish anyone over the carnage committed in East Timor. The threat of an international inquiry remains. Itu, itu, itu salah satu argumentasi bahwa international tribunal ini baru kita bisa betul-betul stop kalau orang lihat bahwa kita itu serius. Nah, kalau kita tidak tanggap ya. Nanti dianggap bahwa kita tidak serius, kita seakan-akan mau melindungi. Nah, at the same time, uh, toh dengan turunnya Pak Wiranto, it does not mean the, the end of the world. Bahwa masih masih dihormati dalam pengertian bahwa untuk kepentingan bangsa ini keseluruhan, dia harus berkorban. Karena Robinson masih tidak puas dengan Kofi Annan sekarang ini. Dan masih mengejar-ngejar bahwa belum tentu Indonesia itu serius dalam menangani hal ini. This is, this is I think, one, one, apa, one argument yang bisa di... Kalau saya sih lain lagi. Apa? Bagi saya Wiranto harus turun itu karena kalau Wiranto tidak mau turun, tidak ada investasi di Indonesia. Itu aja. Ya, bisa juga bahwa, bahwa uh, leader dari dunia ini mau melihat kesungguhan ya. pemerintah kan? Nah, ya, ya makanya keadaan aman tuh kalau berantau nggak jadi tidak berhenti gitu lah. Dari tentara dan dari apa namanya menteri. Karena itu mereka, jadi bagi saya itu masalah pokok ya. Kalau soal... Kofi Annan satu itu ya pokok sih enggak ya walaupun penting ya. Dia itu bisa jadi komplement saja bahwa di samping itu juga masalahnya kita menghadapi international community dari segi lain yang memang betul-betul mau promote human rights. Jadi dan dan dengan dia berhenti dari kabinet kan tidak berarti sudah dia dinyatakan bersalah. Paling tidak si, uh, itu nanti court yang akan menyatakan dia bersalah atau tidak kan. Umpama pun dia bersalah, toh kita masih mau pardon dia. Jadi, uh, he is on the, the winning side sebenarnya. We're returning to Jakarta and nothing's been resolved. has asked for Waranto's resignation. Waranto has declined to give it. To everyone's surprise, Waranto has turned up to meet us, as if nothing has happened. The standoff continues. Waranto said that he was not against me in my position to uh, Ask him to resign, but he said that it will uh, affect his career. Not only his career, it will affect his family, the wife and the children, if he is fired. So then, because of this, uh, he, you see, he should resign. But he has trouble resigning now, because uh, there is no reason for that. So according to him, then we have to, you know, to uh, to uh, 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 wait a little. For the uh, uh, for the announcement of the uh, attorney general on whether he get his uh, free or not from or guilty from the uh, accusation of uh, being involved in the uh, violations of human rights in this Timor. Yeah.
still, still remain. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Franco. He will ask, you know, Miran to, to resign. In, in his last press conference, mm. just before he departed, departed from Banco, he still said that he would ask Miran yeah, to resign yeah. as he arrives in Jakarta. So how could he remain in his principal? Or mm. well, maybe this is the way how he puts it now or mm. Okay, my principal is still there, so I'm still asking him to resign. But this is just a chance. Um, <laughs> so, in the end, it's just like that. You are a democratic... <laughs> How would... What a democratic in way. Indonesia. Yoko Yamasan, you can say, I'm getting confused in Jakarta. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the principle is still there. The principle that yeah, who's the president wants Severanto to, to resign. Uh -huh. Not yeah, yeah but he will not fire him in one month. But if he wants to step down himself, it's okay also. Something like that. You must never underestimate this door. Yeah, yeah. On the other hand, at, you know, at least for now, people will look at it that yeah. way, you know. On the surface, the president has changed, perhaps because of some pressure. <laughs> perhaps, yeah. itu film Hainun ya ditanya kok ya turun di stasiun kota kecil mau nuntut balas kepada syarifnya gitu Well, Sheriff nungguin gitu lah. Padahal ini jam 10 mesti kawin. <laughs> kan udah terlanjur ditetapkan acaranya, datang berita itu. Dia pilih nungguin lawannya dah. Nah, itu dia bilang, apa? Not for sake you my darling. Kita harus berani. After a series of meetings and phone calls that went on through much of the night, Gusto came to the conclusion that Waranto was actually working against him. This gave him no alternative. I have decided to uh, make him, make Waranto non-active from today. Karena itu setelah kami bertemu dengan Presiden, dan saya jelaskan segala sesuatunya dengan jelas baik tugas-tugas yang saya lakukan sebagai Menko Polkam maupun sebagai Menteri Luar Negeri Akhir yang selama ini tidak ada di tempat dan juga saya laporkan posisi saya di dalam permasalahan penegakan hukum terhadap pelanggaran hak asasi manusia di Timur Timur maka beliau telah mengambil keputusan seperti yang tadi kita saksikan itu jelas hak beliau, hak presiden untuk buat keputusan terhadap para menteri-menteri termasuk Menko Polkam. Maka posisi saya tidak dikatakan terlibat ya, di dalam pelanggaran, tetapi bertanggung jawab atas apa yang terjadi yang disebut sebagai pelanggaran HAM di Timur Timur selaku penanggung jawab keamanan nasional. There is uh, enough evidence to put Viranto to prison and according to Viranto they lack the evidence so uh, in my position I said that well anyway it's redundant because uh, I said uh, pardon for three people three types of people presidents and former presidents vice presidents and former vice presidents and then uh, commanders of the armed forces okay. so the three will be pardoned whether they are guilty or not The sacking of General Waranto is only the first step in the removal of the military from their control of Indonesia. 
Usually Gustor avoids such direct confrontations. His political support base is so fragile that whenever possible he turns enemies into allies. Sometime in the future, General Waranto may well reappear as an ally, just like Shanana Gusmao. The biggest challenge Gustav faces will be to keep Indonesia together without resorting to the kind of repression practiced by Sahato. Saudara-saudara sekalian, saya ingin menyatakan permintaan maaf atas apa yang buruk telah terjadi di masa lampau, baik kepada keluarga dan teman-teman korban Santa Cruz, serta teman-teman dan keluarga dari mereka yang dikuburkan di Taman Pahlawan ini. Dua-duanya adalah korban dari keadaan yang tidak kita kehendaki. Mudah-mudahan di masa yang akan datang tidak akan terulang lagi. Terima kasih. Thank you. Thank you. Halo? Di mana?